What is up you guys, this is Space Kryptonite here to bring you the origin of a bot that has made a huge impact in the Robocraft universe. This bot is considered a game changer since it has filled the skies with many versions of this type of bot. This bot is deadly, fast, tanky and can be very difficult to defeat. Ladies and gents, we have been brought forth by the Tesseract. So what made this bot one of the most deadliest bots in Robocraft and where did this bot come from? Let's dive straight into its origin. The first Tesseract was created by Dewwinter 46. There were three different prototypes but cannot be found since these pictures were edited in the Robocraft forum. Thus, we will be showing off the Tesseract Mark III. The creation of this type of bot was posted on the official Robocraft forums December 19, 2015, which was two days after the release of Sloped Corners in the Full Spectrum Combat Update. He explained his design was inspired by Japanese style prism weave for enclosed thruster sticks. As more players started using the Tesseract, the more players started to realize how strong of a bot this really was. The structure was like the Cloud series which held movement parts inside the bot, but used slope corners to increase maneuverability and also gave the bot high heal rate. With the rapid growth, it only took less than a week before everyone started to see Tesseracts everywhere. The sales on the CRF skyrocketed with over thousands of RP purchases along with many other players uploading similar designs. So, what made this bot become such a huge meta-breaking bot? With the Tesseract utilizing the new slope corners, Dewunter made the bot fully triforced. The important factor is that these sloped corners didn't have any major drawbacks for health over mass. This means that even though the bot is light like a feather, the health is still just as good as any other bot and is still able to retain a heavy triforce throughout the whole design. What made this bot special was that the corners were connected together like a spider web, which allowed the Tesseract to take direct damage with ease. Overall, this bot was very Triforce, fast, and was dominating the battlefield. This was one of the first bots that created a disturbance in the force. You had a majority of players that loved to use the Tesseract, and then you had the players that refused to use them at all. So what was the balance? Two ground weapons that are primarily focused on purging the skies, and thruster collision adjustments along with nerfs to sloped corners. As you already know, these two weapons are the Arrow Flak and Lock-On Missile Launcher. With Robocraft's ever-changing updates, these are the first flyer-focused weapons that were released back-to-back. -back. Although these weapons have had their buffs and nerfs, it has done a number on Tesseracts. So, what am I getting at? This bot was at a climax and was an ongoing meta that many players became very frustrated, literally. If the other team had a single Tesseract, you probably thought GG from the very start. And if there was a platoon, you would probably... But anyways, it took two weapons to try to eliminate the Tesseract out of the meta, in which managed to decrease the population very drastically. The idea that Tesseracts would have such a huge impact on Robocraft is far beyond what many players would expect, but the Tesseract managed to do just that. So, that pretty much wraps it up for this video. Let me know in the comment section down below your experience with the Tesseract. Also, did you love or hate the Tesseract? Don't forget to like and subscribe for all your Robo needs. And until next time, this is Space Kryptonite logging out. I will catch you guys later.